The Resident Evil 1 Remake is one of the games I've thought about that is considered to be one of the best games ever and maybe one of the best remakes ever made just because of the fact that Capcom actually had added a whole lot of stuff and still kept to the original spirit of the game. So of course I want to try it out and I kind of held this one off for a while just because I wasn't really vibing with the tank controls at first. But after playing through Resident Evil 2 Remake and changing the control method in the first remake, I gave it another go and I really do like like what I'm playing. So let's just get straight into the topic of the video and one of the things I really do like has to be the game's atmosphere. The music, the camera angles, and the sound effects make everything really scary. The camera angles especially since you almost never know what's lying around the next corner and you do have a bit of info to see ahead but not enough and to me it's always kind of surprising to see if there's a zombie right around the corner because you can kind of hear it for the most part but then again you don't know how far and just stuff like that I really do think it just elevates the game's scariness and I just think it's naturally scary which I really do like. Something else that I thought was really well done was the pre-rendered backgrounds. I think they look super good and just detail and just make every area pop and really helps elevate the terrible situation the characters are in. I also do find it makes dodging the zombies somewhat harder since you have a limited space to move around. And might I add, I really do think pre-rendered backgrounds can often outshine some 3D backgrounds, at least when it can be done right. I think for this game only, it can look a bit fuzzy playing on a modern display. Play, but I still do think for the most part they look really good. Another aspect I think that Capcom really nailed here was the puzzles. I think a lot of them are just hard enough but not exactly easy to the point where it just spells it out. You would have to pay attention to every small detail and just look around to every part you haven't fully explored yet. I think the only time where I was just 100% stumped was when I had to deal with the armor key. I just didn't know where to go so I ended up looking it up. But I still do think that for someone with a much more keen eye than me, they would naturally figure out a lot more. I still do think that they're really thought out. It's just, again, I feel like some stuff for me at least was a little bit hard. But again, I could still figure out if I just thought longer. And something else I think RE1 does that I was surprised and I found to be a really nice addition was the different endings and different situations that can happen during the game. Like for example, if you don't save Richard, you don't get the assault shotgun, but if you end up doing it, you actually do get the weapon at some point in the story. And that's why I find pretty cool just because, again, you can do different stuff to get different results. Another part I actually do like that helps the replayability is that both of the characters, Chris and Jill, have unique features to them where Jill has a lockpick and more inventory space and can take less hits but moves faster, while Chris has a lighter and can take more hits while having less inventory space. Each character also does have a partner that kind of helps him throughout the story where Jill has Barry and Chris has Rebecca. I really do like this just because you know you can spend time playing the game and every playthrough is going to be at least kind of different. I also really do like the enemy variety in the game where the further you go on the more types of enemies you might have to deal with and this lets you always be on your toes because even if you do know what's coming up next each enemy does have a slightly different pattern that you have to deal with on the fly and I really do like that. And I can clearly see the amount of effort this remake has and as a game I still really like it on its own because I'm not really knowledgeable on the first one because you know I haven't really played it so this one here I really do like as a game even without comparing it to the original. And now we're gonna go into what I disliked and one of those things has to be the controls and even changing it to analog controls I still find it kind of awkward. You have to reset the stick every single time you change angles and it just gets it's weird. And even if you don't like tank controls, it's not the greatest solution, but it's still something. And even on the tank controls, I find those to be a little bit iffy. I might not just be used to them just because, you know, I haven't really played the original games before and my first real experience with the Resident Evil game was Resident Evil 2 Remake and I'm just so much used to that. I'm also not really loving the voice acting in the game as much. I think it's fine and passable, it just doesn't really strike me as memorable all that much. Also voice actors mostly sound pretty dead to me which I guess kind of fits the setting. It's just that I wish there was a lot more emotion a lot more often and it's not the worst voice acting I've ever heard, it's just again not the greatest. And frankly that's all I really dislike and I 
had an all time thinking of other stuff I didn't like about the game. Other than some minor problems here and there, I still think as a survival horror game, this game really does a good job of doing that. If you can get used to some of the game's quirks like the tank controls and the constant angle changes, it's a really solid experience and this is coming from a guy who has played almost no other survival horror games. But as always, before the video ends, let's go over the likes and dislikes. Likes, great atmosphere, really good pre-rendered backgrounds, really interesting puzzles, super well playable, and a decent amount of enemy variety. Dislikes, controls, and voice acting feeling really emotionless for the most part. Thank you all for watching and see you guys later.